World of Warcraft Classic is the most fun I've had playing an MMORPG in more than a decade, and I am not afraid to say it. All these people out there who keep going on and on about how the MMORPG industry is dead, MMORPGs suck, I can't stand MMOs, Warcraft sucks, Warcraft is easy mode, Warcraft this, Warcraft is toxic, Warcraft that... I don't think these people know what they're talking about. I think these people have confirmation bias based on a handful of bad experiences over the years, and I'm not afraid to call that out because this game is freaking awesome. I'm Tim Anderson, aka Renfail, sometimes known as the Bearded Dwarven Princess, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about why I'm enjoying World of Warcraft Classic so much here during the Burning Crusade era and the pre-patch leading up to Wrath of the Lich King, which is the whole reason that we started to play this game in the first place was because back around early May, my brother came to us and said, hey man, you know, We've never played World of Warcraft. Wrath of the Lich King is coming out this fall. What do you think about doing this? And maybe get a couple other friends involved. And went to Nathan Napalm. And he said, I've never played Wrath of the Lich King. I'd love to do it. And then that got other people involved. And here we are, you know, four or five months later. We've got a guild with about 200 people in it. And we're steadily growing. And we've been playing four or five times a week, leveling up characters. I've got uh, two level 70s now. And my hunter here, who's uh, level 65. And I've been having the time of my life. I recently did a video, like the top five things that I'm enjoying the most about this game. And I kind of, I guess this could be considered a follow-up to that video because I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I'm really loving about this game and why I don't think Warcraft is toxic. I don't think Warcraft is dead. I don't think Warcraft sucks. I don't see that Warcraft is an easy game because I got my ass handed to me the other day trying a heroic dungeon for the first time. Anyone who thinks that's easy mode doesn't know what they're talking about. Uh, more. But before we get going, this is the point of the video where I got to do a shout out and say, hey, for those of you who are a part of of my community and who are supporting my channel here full time as I do content creation and everything else. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, if you want to support, it's really easy. Drop a super thanks right down there. It's two bucks, five bucks, ten bucks, whatever you want to do. Buy me a cup of coffee, buy me a Ferrari, I don't care. And tune in every time we do a live stream and do super chats and stickers while we're live, which is every single morning and every single evening. There's also a Patreon page if you want to go above and beyond, where my brother, my wife, and I are building the world of the Weave in the Void. It's a fantasy world, 5th edition tabletop, point and click adventure game, and a book series. Lots of stuff going on there, so check that out. But for now, let's get back to World of Warcraft Classic and all the things that are making me consider this to be one of the best games ever. So, right now, um, we've been playing. Uh, pre-patch here in uh, the TBC. It's getting ready to go into the uh, Wrath of the Lich King content, and depending on where you go right now, the plague event is taking over. Uh, I've got some footage from this morning from a couple of different clips where the plague was running through Shatrath City, and you pretty much can't go anywhere now without the plague having taken over the major cities like um, Ironforge, Stormwind, Darnassus. I got killed <laughs> at the auction house today in Darnassus. I literally got up to go to the bathroom and came back, and I was dead because the plague had, you know, a bunch of zombies had come in and taken over. Um, Anybody who says that the game is dead hasn't logged in and actually seen how many frickin' people are playing this game. Look at look at all of these people down here. And this is just, you know, I'm recording this at, what time is it? It's 5.38, so it's 6.30 at Realm Time. We're on the Pagel server. And just this is just one example. Look at all of these people that are here. It doesn't matter where you go. There are people everywhere. I have not seen the actual servers, but I've been told that a lot of the, the Fresh Start servers have queue times of upwards of six hours with thousands of people in the queues wanting to log into this game. Anybody who claims that this that World of Warcraft Classic is dead does not know what they're talking about. This is a massive game. There are a lot of people playing this. And I understand why now uh, going back to what i talked about in my five things i really love about world of warcraft classic uh, one of the things i'd said was uh, you know i was too busy with everquest 2 to have given this game a shot because i was an everquest fanboy so i went straight from everquest 1 straight into everquest 2 and played that for seven years and i didn't give world of warcraft a shot now that I finally am giving it a shot, I understand that Classic is a little bit different than it was when it launched. They've streamlined some things, there's some quality of life features in here, and so on and so forth. I have not had this much fun 
since Star Wars The Old Republic launched, and that was 2011, more than a decade ago. Um, this game has got me by the balls. I'm not afraid to admit it. Uh, it is everything I love in MMORPGs. There's tons of people playing. We have a huge guild that's doing lots of cool things together. There's tons of people on the server for me to group with even when there aren't people on the guild online and we pretty much have people around. Like this morning I logged in on a Sunday morning at 6 o'clock in the morning to just do some harvesting and do some herbalism and boom we had a guild group going and somebody asked me if I wanted to come tank dungeons i had never run before uh we did i can't remember the name of it now it was somewhere out in i'm gonna go look it up right now while we're sitting here and i'll, I'll probably have it somewhere up on the screen here it was in the nether storm one of these dungeons in the nether storm i believe um and it was like the coolest thing i'd ever seen um just these like science science fiction dungeons with like energy cages and all this other stuff and it was just blowing my mind like the level design these translucent like bridges we were running across like it was just amazing and then like last night this is the one that really gets me i don't understand who you are when you claim that world of warcraft is easy mode maybe you're talking about retail but even retail has as i understand it they've got like the hardcore modes, they call them different things. They're like all the way up to like what's called, I think it's called mythical, where all these different tiers of dungeons and raids that you can do so that whatever kind of challenge you're looking for, you can have. So people who claim that it's easy mode, I don't think you've actually done the game on the hard modes because I'll tell you what, we ran uh, yesterday evening or yesterday late afternoon, I got an invite to go do uh what is it called the blood furnace and it was my first ever heroic dungeon my my tank is not that well geared i just hit 70 the other day and everybody's like oh you should be able to do it it's one of the entry dungeons come on in right so we go in and i'm used to the dungeons up until this point have been yeah easy mode like normal dungeons we have not really felt challenged unless we're doing something that is like beyond three levels outside of our range so if it's three levels above us we're starting to feel that challenge a little bit and that's mostly just because we're not able to land spells and taunts and other things on the mob so it's a little trickier for me to control aggro and things of that nature we go into this heroic dungeon and i'm gonna show some footage here i think if i remember to, to put it in here um I got my ass spanked like over and over and over and over and over and some of that was because my gear wasn't good enough but a lot of it was just because that's the challenge level of that next tier that heroic version right you go in it's not easy mode anymore it's full on you need better gear the bosses do different things the mobs do different things so there's different mechanics for the fights now it's a whole nother level of what's going on and you have to relearn the dungeons to some degree and relearn the boss encounters which is brilliant and the fact that i just walked in it was like face stomp face stomp face stomp face stomp over and over again really held me in its grip for quite a while i was like i, I i'm sitting here going away from that experience going who are the people who claim that this game is easy because it definitely is easy on like normal mode but what about heroic are people not factoring this into the equation and the fact that they have this extra tier of difficulty and as i understand it in retail there are multiple tiers of difficulty to me i look at that and i say those are even more reasons why this game is so awesome because you're giving players all sorts of different options you literally are providing everyone with their own version of the game to play and that to me is mind-blowing because so many games out there focus on you know they want to be everything to every person but they can't because they don't have a big enough team or big enough budget and this game at least from what I'm seeing with the pre-patch well everything I've seen through Burning Crusade content and the pre-patch content so so far has been just amazing like I'm just enamored with this game itself. But the level design is amazing. The world building is amazing. The class design, the talent trees, the specs, the performance is just mind-blowingly smooth as silk. And right now, all the stuff that's going on with the pre-patch where we've got this plague event that's running around and like causing chaos throughout all the cities, it's just it's just amazing. And then flight. Look at how smoothly flight is. Like, it's um, instantaneous controls. And there is something that is super, 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 super satisfactory about, like, dive bombing down into a group of mobs and, like, landing and doing an AoE into them. And I'm just, oh, man. 
and then every time I turn around like Warcraft is putting up a new video on their YouTube channel talking about and look at all these mounts and look at all these cosmetics and look at all these things that you can go earn and grind for and obtain through quests and everything else during Wrath of the Lich King and I'm thinking to myself well Wrath is going to last at least a year right like we're going to have all of 2023 if not more I think I can safely say my channel up until this point has been a generalist channel. I play a lot of different MMORPGs. We play EverQuest 1, we play EverQuest 2, I play the Vanguard Second of Heroes emulator, I do P99, I do Lord of the Rings Online, which is still my favorite MMORPG of all time. Um, but it's barely hanging on by a thread after about, you know, I've done this now for four or five months and I am I am feeling World of Warcraft starting to to pull ahead and, and at least be neck and neck with Lord of the Rings Online in a lot of different areas. Lord of the Rings Online still has a much better story and much better writing and, and some other things, but um, Star Wars Old Republic is also up in there in my list. But anyway, I digress. This game for me, like I said, it's the best thing I've played in 10 plus years, and it's not slowing down. Everyone tells me that Wrath of the Lich King is like the pinnacle, and I'm sitting here going, well, if I'm already having like my level of fun has turned up to 11 right now, and we're only in the pre-patch. I have a feeling that my channel is going to become a WoW-centric channel in 2023. I know that's probably sacrilege to say, because I've been running my channel now for a few years, growing it, and it's always been like an old-school, um, you know, and point-and-click games and other things. And now I'm, I've been adding movie reviews and show reviews and book reviews and all these other things to the channel throughout the past couple of years. But as far as MMORPGs go, um, I've, I'm reducing my time in EverQuest, my time in EverQuest 2, down to like one time a week in both cases. And I'm just wanting to play more and more and more and more Warcraft. Not only that, but the videos I'm creating around Warcraft are being very well received and the streams are being tuned into and we've got more people watching Warcraft videos than anything else so I'm looking at this going why would I not pursue Warcraft more and more because it's helping pay the bills at the end of the day you know for the past few months I've been able to be a full-time streamer and a full-time content creator because of folks like you who are out there supporting the channel and tuning in and having fun while we watch which brings me to the end of the video and saying thanks for your support everyone like subscribe hit the bell icon thanks to all of you who've been tuning into live streams those of you who are members of the Adventurers Guild here, members of the Patreon over there. Don't forget, drop a super thanks on this video, join a live stream, do a super chat and a sticker when you see me live. Come join our guild, we're on the Peggle server, Alliance side. There's a Discord link down below, there's also a link to the Patreon page. Let me know your thoughts on the game below, and hopefully I'll see you in-game and in the next episode. Until then, everybody. Peace!